in the given potential divider circuit, a silicon transistor is used. Find the potential difference between collector and emitter terminals, VCE. Right, I hope you have tried the question and you have found the answer. So let's get into the question. Right here, they are asking us to find VCE value, potential difference between collector terminal and emitter terminal. That we cannot directly find VCE, there's a procedure for this. So initially we need to find potential here VB and then we need to find potential here VE and then we need to find the current IE then current IC from that we can find the potential at C then we take the difference of it right one thing we need to know if it's a silicon transistor VBE potential difference between base and emitter is 0 0.7 volt we have to take it right let's apply into this question now now initially to find VBE VB here is point we need to apply potential divider for this circuit right for R1 and R2 so let's apply so in potential divider method you know we take resistance ratio R1 is to R2 is equal to V1 is to V2 right so resistance ratio is 12 kilo ohms to 4 kilo ohms simplified furthermore 3 is to 1 ratio let's take the fraction value 3 by 4 1 no 4 right to find VB we can consider the potential difference of V2 and then we can find VB right let's find V2 so for V2 we need to take 104 fraction so 104 into 20 yes we get 5 volt right that means the potential difference here this point and this point is 5 so the potential at B it has to be 5 because the potential here is 0 then the difference is 5 the potential at this point it has to be 5 then mean VB is 5 right now we have 5 volt here right let's proceed it furthermore so here potential 5 volt right now we need to find VE right now we know potential difference VB is 0 0.7 then the highest potential will be VE so here this is 5 so 5 minus 0 0.7 we get 4.3 as VE potential at this point right we have potential there then we can find ie yes you can apply v equals ir for this resistor and the values of this resistor yes they have given it as 4.3 kilo ohms right now in that let's apply it here v initially it's uh, we can take 4.3 ie we don't know r 4.3 kilo ohms so 4.3 4.3 cancel of kilo ohms divided by 1 so 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 ie that means 1 milliamp right now our next path is to find next step to find ic right to find ic actually we need to find at least IB or we need we need beta value beta is IC over IB current gain it's not given as a data and again we cannot find IB because we don't know the resistor between here these terminals and this point so we cannot find IB and beta is also not given right then in this cases we do a special thing we can assume because we know IB is a very small value compared to IC and IE. So we can assume IE approximately equal to IC. Right. Now in that, then we can assume IC as 1, 1 milliampere. Right. Then to find VC, our next step. 
we see they have given two kilo ohms right so let's apply weaker ir here so we can find the potential difference between these two points i 1 milliampere 1 in 10 to the power minus 3 that into 2 kilo ohms 10 to the power 3 you can see we get 2 volt right potential difference is 2 volt here the highest potential here is 20 volt so the difference is 2 then the potential at c it has to be 20 minus 2 yes 18 volt right now we have two potentials we see 18 volt and ve 4.3 volt yes now you know what to do 18 minus 4.3 13.7 volt yes you can conclude as vce potential here so our answer is vce 13.7 volt right if you could get the answer that's great that means you can yes you can go through with these questions that's great uh, you are good with your theories if you couldn't get into the answer yes you have to do some work so follow similar type of questions try a couple of questions and you'll finally get there and if you think this is valuable share it with your friends study together and win together